So full disclosure, this is a first. I'm you know, here to share with you the June Ottawa market stats from Vancouver, BC. The team and I have been at a conference with Richard Robbins International. I'm looking out of a hotel window right now at, this, at the ocean and the mountains telling you about the Ottawa stats. So here they are. So we've had a seasonal reduction in average sales, which is just, you know, that, that happens. So May 1939 sales, June 1658, very seasonal. Active listings have grown a little bit, about 10% from a month ago. Um, again, that's kind of par for the course as we move into the summer and we'll expect kind of a further reduction in sales in July and a rebalancing of, of active listings. If we look at what that looks like from a months of inventory standpoint, we're sitting with 1.9 months of standing inventory. That's very much a seller's market still. Not as tight as we were you know, in May, which obviously now appears to be the peak of what we've seen this year, but 1.9 seller's market still. What's happening with prices, they're fairly stable. And you do wonder if this kind of 670 average sale price is our new normal for now, um, because we had 678 in April, 674 in May. You know, these are rounding errors ultimately, June 670. So there's a possibility of another rate hike coming in early, uh, in the next week or so. We could see a little bit of softening in price as a result. Moving on, if we look at it from a year over year perspective, you know, 1,658 sales this year, 1,493 last year. That's great news. We're up 11.1% in sales. If you look at active listings, it kind of mirrors the sales volume. So more sellers, more buyers in the market. That's all a good thing. We're at the same level of inventory we were a year ago. And that level of inventory kind of had the prices rebounding and things with 1.9 months of standing inventory. So if we look at pricing, um, you know, we were coming off of that peak that we saw in March and prices were reducing, reducing. So, you know, we're still not quite where uh, things were a year ago. We were at 746, 445. Last year, this time we were 773. Now, keep in mind, this continued to drop through the end of 2022. We were on the down cycle. So this isn't really the story. We're actually rebounding, as you saw from average price month over month. Condominiums are up 2.1%. Now, as these numbers get so big, you kind of wonder if the condo market won't get you know, more robust just because of affordability, essentially. So moving on from there, we um, can share with you our instinct of what might happen next. So there's the possibility of a little rate hike. We think that probably softens the market a little bit more, but look, this is two months of standing inventory. It's a seller's market. It's robust out there. Um, it would be nice for us all to return to a little bit of balance and normality in a way because uh, it's been tough. It's been tough on buyers looking to get into the market and it's been tough on people that are thinking about upgrading because they're worried about selling with nothing to buy. So, you know, a lot of us would prefer a more balanced market that we're not in currently, but there it is. July probably moderates a little bit more from what we've seen now. Nothing crazy um, on the forecast for now. There it is. We'll let you know how July turns out. And uh, next time I'll see you in Ottawa.